Okay. So let's keep building up our toolbox with a couple of additional tools. The pressure coefficient. And Laplace's equation. And this is Anderson 3.5 to 3.7. So the pressure coefficient, C sub P, is defined as the pressure minus the free stream pressure divided by the free stream dynamic pressure. So Q infinity is one half, one half rho infinity, V infinity squared. So this is a pressure coefficient. So it's a way of non-dimensionalizing the pressure in an incompressible flow. So recall that in, in a incompressible flow, Bernoulli tells us that P infinity plus one half rho infinity V infinity squared equals P plus one half rho V squared. So this is at any point in the flow field and this is at the free stream condition. So if we rearrange that and you take P minus P infinity, that gives us one half rho infinity, sorry, rho, because rho infinity and rho are the same because it's an incompressible flow. And we can factor that out, therefore, and we get a difference of the square of the velocity. So the pressure coefficient is just a rearrangement of this equation. And if we write this out, so you can see that it's one half rho V infinity squared minus V squared over one half rho V infinity squared. And so we can actually write this for incompressible flow, just in terms of the velocity, as 1 minus v over v infinity squared. Again, so that's only for incompressible flow. The definition involving pressures is always valid, but this simplified form, which only involves the velocity, is exclusively for use in incompressible flow. So this equation tells us uh, that at a stagnation point, at a stagnation point, where v equals zero, by definition, we always have CP equals one. And you can see that if V is zero, we get one minus zero, CP is one. So that means that this is the maximum value of CP anywhere in any flow. 
There's no way that Cp can be greater than 1 for an incompressible flow. And if V is larger than V infinity, then we see that the pressure coefficient will become negative. And that's OK. So another useful way of thinking about this about the uh, pressure coefficient is we can write it like the pressure is equal to the free stream pressure plus the free stream dynamic pressure Q infinity times Cp. So from this way of writing it, you can see that what Cp tells us is by how many times the dynamic pressure the local pressure P has varied from the free stream value. infinity.